A woman who was once the country's biggest critic of the New Zealand police is hoping a government promise of 500 extra officers is properly funded in tomorrow's budget. Back in 2004, Louise Nicholas accused three officers of rape and says while she used to hate police, the front line of today are worth every cent. She spoke to Investigations correspondent Michael Mora. Louise Nicholas is concise when reflecting on her past feelings towards police. I hated them with a vengeance, absolutely did. Um, they scared the living hell out of me. Nicholas, now an advocate for sex abuse survivors, told News Hub she's witnessed a lot of change. We've got bloody good coppers here in, in New Zealand. Now, back in the day, we were just case file numbers. But today, we're actually people. Back in the day, an inquiry prompted by Nicholas's complaints of police rape found evidence of disgraceful conduct in the 1980s. Police say the attitude of staff and training is vastly improved. What we've tried to do is create a culture where there's a safe space for people to come and report. Nicholas has helped train new recruits and regularly works with police at court. It's a privilege to walk alongside them in the work that we do supporting survivors of sexual violence. Although she admits problems still exist in some regions. We have got dumbasses. Every organisation has that, those bad apples. Is it widespread? No, I, I wouldn't say that at all. We never get it right all the time. There's always continuous improvement. Improvement, Nicholas says, is plain to see, but she's worried about the numbers leaving for Australia due to poor pay. They deserve every cent that they're asking for. She says lack of resources already sees officers pulled off rape cases if there's a homicide, which is devastating for survivors she supports. Gutted, because now they're having to wait even longer. Tomorrow's budget will include details of a key coalition promise, how they'll fund an additional 500 officers in two years. A stalemate between the police union and government over pay increases is yet to be concluded. It's wrong how they've been treated. She urges politicians to get a better idea of what frontline policing involves. Walk in their shoes for a day. Do a night shift with them. They actually see what it is that they have to do. A critical service, one she believes has been undervalued for too long. Michael Mora, News Up.